It's Tuesday! Yay! And I just decided last night that I'm gonna do it because I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I would play this for my recital with Lady Kim and whether or not it was a smart idea. I'm not convinced it's a smart idea. Students, don't do this. Don't ever try and learn a piece this fast for a recital until you're a trained professional and maybe not even then. Um, but anyway, I'm for some reason in kind of a daring mood, so I'm gonna try it. Um, so I've worked through the whole piece. I think I know how to learn it. I just have to do it. Um, the trick this week is that now that I've worked through the whole piece, I kind of think I know it, which means I'm playing faster than I should, which means it's all about the metronome to keep me from rushing. So I am, I haven't worked on the third page as much because it doesn't seem as hard, although I see octaves. So anyway, let's see what the third page sounds like with a metronome. Obviously the double stops need some work because as much as I hate double stops, um, knowing I've gotten to a point where instead of avoiding things that make me feel uncomfortable when I practice um, or that I just don't like because I'm not good at them, I have to do them. So I have a process for working on double stops and this is it. Um, I'm going to work backwards. playing the double stops that there's a lot of tension in my hand so I'm using an old trick that I learned in grad school from my teacher Mr. Sang so I'm kind of up against the wall now what I'm gonna do is I take this cloth to protect my scroll and I put my scroll right into the wall and the cloth protects both my scroll and paint jobs on the wall so like that I'm actually I'll leave it like that okay um, so now what this does is this leaves the violin completely supported so I'm not holding the violin up and playing. Now I can just use my left hand and it gives me the sensation of being a lot more physically free. Um, which for me, because I'm naturally so tight, I have to try and relax a lot and do a lot of tricks to kind of trick my hands into releasing. So let's see if this helps. <laughs>
few more times and then try it without. It is 11.30 on Tuesday night. Goodness, it's only Tuesday. And I am here on my yoga mat with the cat. Oh, she's up there somewhere. I can't get her to show on this camera. Oh, she just jumped. Bonnie. There's the cat. <laughs> and I am learning that Sarah Sate wrote a lot of really high notes, and playing those high notes involves twisting your arm crazily around to reach up, and that does kind of a killer on the job on the whole left side of your body. So this is me on my yoga mat. This is not exactly practicing, but this is necessary steps to make sure that I am able to practice tomorrow. And I probably need to enact some type of rule where I have to do at least 20 minutes of yoga before I'm able to touch my violin in the mornings. So I will start doing that tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep doing some different yoga poses and stretching tonight to see if I can get my shoulders a little freer. Good night, guys.